Welcome to Total Health Magazine on Total Health Television. I'm your host, John Barson. As you know, if you follow Total Health, we like to cover all types of topics in regards to health from diet, lifestyle, supplementation, vitamins, uh, fitness. And today we're going to talk about fitness, but not just any kind of fitness. This is, this is a great new fitness routine that's fun for the whole family, which it can just be fun for the whole family, or you can take it all the way to a professional level with cash prizes. And, and rather than me try to explain it to you, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. Why don't we look at the pictures? This will give you an instant understanding of what, where we're going here. Joining me now to talk about this great program and this uh, new fitness program uh, from his uh, home in Virginia, correct? Virginia Beach? Correct. Virginia Beach. Virginia <laughs> Beach. Edward Armstrong is my guest tonight. He's the founder and CEO of Saberation. And uh, that little intro video was just a, just a teaser uh, to get you uh, warmed <laughs> up and excited about this. Uh, we're going to go into his gym in a, in a few minutes so you can actually see uh, how, is, how it works. But... Uh, where did this concept come from, Ed? The concept actually came to us a few years ago when we started as a sport franchise. And as a sport franchise, we were actually doing lightsaber combat. And we were training people how to do uh, moves with techniques very similar to fencing uh, with regards to the targets and the rules and, and the zones and things of that nature but also with the disciplines of martial arts. So there was a progressive path of learning and applying application and, and different uh, codes that we lived by and, and it incorporated into our lifestyles. Uh, that being said, as we grew the sport, we quickly started identifying the fact that uh, there were several segments within our classes of interest for people. So as they were competing, we found that there were some people that were coming to classes that were very competitive and they had that, that sport, you know, they, they wanted to win. And then we also had people that were coming for the, the fitness benefit. You know, it was the only exercise that they had received all week. You know, they had desk jobs and things of that nature. And, and so they loved the fact that they could work up a sweat and have fun doing it. Uh, and then the third segment we identified was the people that just wanted to come have fun. And, you know, they just wanted to pick up that lightsaber and just, you know, enjoy the camaraderie and, and uh, or camaraderie rather, and, and have uh, an entertaining time with either their family or other friends or meet new friends. And out of all of that, uh, we identified the three primary pillars of saberation. And the pillar of fitness is where we decided to expand into the franchise model. And actually, we created the world's first lightsaber fitness gym that gives you a full body cardio workout uh and it's an experience like none other i bet well let's uh let's take a quick look let's uh, introduce uh, nick bensman um your trainer and uh let our viewers see what it's like inside the gym saberation has developed a unique workout composed of three different components that we call best. The first one is a resistance workout. The second one is sword technique and using your own body weight. And the third one is just beating up on a dummy and kind of getting that aggression out. So the kind of workout that you're basically getting is a very aerobic workout, you know, within the technique, um, within the low stances, you know, utilizing your core, which is everything all the way from your, your abs all the way into your back, your whole like core being of your body. 
It's very unique because of that, because we're getting them to move in all different directions, all different um, spaces and, and models. Every time you strike, breathe, good. Engage the core. Nice. Keep that back straight, very nice, good. This is really yep. to do something out of your comfort zone and out of the normalcy of, of what a normal gym would do. So you're not gonna be lifting heavy, heavy weights here, you know, you're not gonna be pumping iron, um, but you're definitely gonna be getting a full body workout. Uh, Edward, uh, we should also point out too that it, you're, you're not, uh, when you're in the gym, you're not just using the lightsaber, you actually, you've developed a whole circuit around this. Absolutely, it's, uh, it's a lightsaber uh, circuit training, if you would. And, you know, I'd like to also point out that uh, Nick, he, he's not only our trainer, he's our vice president. Uh, he's also a very good friend of mine, and he's uh, a mentor as well. And he was extremely instrumental, extremely instrumental <laughs> in coming up and designing the actual lightsaber workouts for each of the zones that we go through throughout the gym. Um, his experience has been uh, extremely uh I don't even know how to even place a value on what he has done uh, for and with Saberation. Uh, but as we go through the three different segments of the workout, uh, we have you know one segment where we're actually utilizing the lightsaber on the dummies uh, or some like sentry bobs or boxing bags and punching bags. And we have different maneuvers and techniques and things that we apply uh, that that give you not only a target that you're hitting, that you're focusing on and that you're concentrating on, but we're also working certain core muscle groups with the movement of the sabers, uh, the way that you're positioning your lower body, the way that you're rotating um, the abs and the hips. And I mean, I don't want to give too, too many secrets away. I want people to come <laughs> come check it out, but it, <laughs> it's, it's, it's wonderful. And then, you know, we have the other zone where we go to, uh, you know, suspension training, and then the the third zone where we go through a little bit more free movements and uh, a mixture of different things uh, like you know burpees and things like that, which we do some very interesting things with burpees and push-ups and lightsabers. You got to see it. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> so. like my my uh, given my schedule, uh, most of my exercises is, is walking. I try and get about fifteen miles a weekend, including a, a hike, a mountain. I get to go up and down. Uh, we were talking before about. Uh, when we we're getting ready to do this interview, uh, you know, my background as a cyclist, I, I, I told you I, I couldn't understand years ago when the concept of spinning came out. And because uh, I thought about, well, when I got on my bike, I like to ride 100 miles. The thought of going into a room and sitting on a bike made no sense to me uh, in the beginning. Now I understand it. I mean, it's a lot more about, as you're mentioning, you know, the camaraderie and working out with people and that competitive nature. But your gym, I mean, it just looks like a lot of fun and it's, it's, uh, it's uh, attractive to all ages. What's the, uh, the youngest that you uh, bring into the gym? The youngest that we have in the actual gym is uh, 14. Uh, that is, that's the youngest that will go, uh, you know, younger than that, we're dealing with a lot of, uh, you know, muscle growth and bone structure development, and we don't want to do anything that would interfere with that or have any, you know, effect on on the children with regards to the type of workout routines that we do. Uh, with regards to the sport, though, we do go as young as the age of 10 um, because we are focusing more on techniques and executions and different movements that will only enhance and strengthen the growth and development of the youth. Well, let's so let's we, we, yeah. yeah let's talk about that. Let's talk about the sport aspect of this, the competitiveness and uh, and the cash prizes. Absolutely, absolutely. We have uh, state competitions, regional competitions, national competition, which is where we have the uh, uh, the the ten thousand dollar grand prize is what it's set for, uh, and we look forward to it growing even more as the years continue to progress and we have more athletes participating. Uh, we we look at it and we say in order to be considered a true uh, sport or, or to be considered a true contender, I should say, uh, within the sport uh, genre, we should be able to offer cash incentives for the athletes that do very well in the sport. And so when you're learning from your coaches and you're learning through the individual teams that we call tribes, uh, you're you're learning that discipline and how to execute those disciplines and you're living by a code and you're learning uh, how to connect the cognitive thinking uh, with the strategical and technical uh, maneuvers. 
all of this is a lot of hard work, you know, just like any other sport. It requires a lot of practice. It requires a lot of uh, commitment. It requires, um, you know, a lot of discipline. And as a result, we felt that there should be a financial reward for the whole team, not just an individual. So anyone that's competing in the sport, it's not a, oh, I got first place and I'm walking away with you know $2,000. It's no, it's your team. Your, your team is placing, your team is gonna walk out victorious and your team is gonna share uh, in the fruits of, of your labor. And so uh, we're very proud of the way that we placed everything together and developed the sport uh, from the training of the coaches and the coaching program, all the way down to the way the coaches teach uh, their tribes and making sure that everything is done in a very universal, easy to follow format. Well, you bring up a good point there. You're talking about training coaches. If you're going to have a national sport, uh, you need to have a national footprint. Um, how, what, what are the services that you provide uh, for training other professionals? Absolutely. So with regards to our sport, uh, which we have is called the CLC, Competitive Lightsaber Combat. And the, the sport is set up to actually train the coaches online first. There's multiple stages. So you go online and you would receive your video training where you would learn how to execute the, the moves and the techniques. And this is all fed over, uh, it's like a drip feed. So it's like a 12 week curriculum plus per level, right? So we have seven different forms of combat. So you have seven different levels. And each one of these levels, you receive the curriculum. And in order to proceed from one level to the next, you not only have to grasp the, the techniques and the philosophy behind what we teach, but you also have to pass an exam with a 90% score or higher. And until you can pass the online exam, you cannot carry on to the next form. And you are only allowed to teach up to the level of which you have past in your exam. Annually, we also have the hands-on workshops, which is where you receive your actual higher level certification. So when you come out to the workshops and we work with you one-on-one -on -one and we train you and make sure that you fully understand everything that is being taught and uh, different methods of teaching, then we give you, you go from just being, you go from being a coach to being a certified coach. So there's a progressive le uh, level, even with regards to the training. Um, and on, uh, on the website, you know, when you choose your coaches, you'll be able to see uh, which ones are um, basically your standard coaches and which ones are your certified coaches. Right. Well, I think that, uh, you know, knowing several personal trainers, having friends that are personal trainers, this, this seems like a great new um, a program for a personal trainer that they could pick up the sport, uh, pick up the training, and then actually incorporate that into their local gym. Yes, absolutely. So where, whereas we have the coaching program on the sports side, we also have the training program in the fitness side. And the training program on the fitness side is actually designed to take people step by step into becoming a certified lightsaber personal trainer or lightsaber fitness trainer. And this program is designed so that an individual can actually go into any gym and execute a specific part of what we offer at Total Saber Fit, the, the full lightsaber fitness gym. We have a specific part that is adaptable to any gym. And this certified lightsaber trainer can actually receive the certification, go through the training, go to any gym and offer these classes without disrupting the floor plan or the setup for the gym. Uh, now, I, I do want to make note that uh, they will be offering uh, very rigorous, uh, <laughs> very rigorous, but very exciting and very fun uh, exercise routines at these various gyms. But only in the total saber fit gym will you receive the full circuit of being able to go through all three stations and that is why we we also offer the franchise model if a person decides that they actually want to offer all of the circuits for lightsaber fitness training they can also get a franchise of total saber fit uh, versus becoming a certified lightsaber fitness trainer and offering those services in any gym 
Right, and and uh, I'm glad you you brought that up because it segues into my next little video clip here. Uh, one thing I really liked about your program, uh, I'm a big I'm I'm a big believer in in uh, good wearable technology if it's going to help you get a better workout. So let's uh, let's take a look at your at your version of Pi, not Apple Pie, not American Pie. This is. Ed's pie. One of the secret sauces to the success of Total Saber Fit is the proprietary algorithm known as Pi, which is personal activity intelligence. And this actually measures the elevation of heartbeat and the effects of that heartbeat with regards to the rest of the health of your body. So we've taken all the science behind it and we've connected it with the physical activity and the motion of slinging lightsabers. If you can maintain a 100 pie score, per seven days, you can add five years or more to your life. Before I got here, I kind of had an image that it was going to be like a high intensity workout with while I was swinging a lightsaber around. And while I was doing that, it was so much more than, than I expected. We have actually a five year plan and that growth plan allows us to expand to every state in this nation and be able to provide not only the franchise of lightsaber fitness gyms all across America, but also the ability to offer licensing so that people can become certified coaches and be able to start sport teams and compete on a national level, as well as be able to offer licensing for entertainment. When you see two lit blades clash on each other, I mean, it, it, you know, that euphoria comes in. You feel like you're in the movie. If you want a good workout and you want to have fun doing it, then this is for you. Yeah, I have to say, it looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> it is so much fun. It's so, so much fun. <laughs> you're, talking, you're talking about the franchise level. Now, you're basically, uh, you haven't been uh, uh, going for a very long time. I mean, you're basically getting underway over, under, I guess, uh, under the, um, over this past year. How is that franchise model working? It's actually working quite well. So uh, as a sport, we've actually you know, been operating for several years, but as a fitness gym, a full-fledged lightsaber fitness gym, this is, you know, we are, this is our, our first year in operation. And already uh, we are seeing a substantial demand. Uh, we have uh, a lightsaber fitness gym scheduled to go up in LA. Uh, we have Sacramento that's uh, queued for next. And we've also been uh, contacted by Salt Lake City they're looking at putting a lightsaber fitness gym there. Uh, and so we have, you know, weekly we have inquiries coming in where people are like, you know, this is awesome. Some people are already uh, gym owners and they want to know, uh, can they incorporate this into their existing business model? And some people are saying, hey, look, we want a franchise. You know, we want to we want to start and, and have the entire lightsaber fitness circuit and offer all of the services and benefits of Total Saber Fit to you know our local community. And so, of course, we can cater to both. And being able to utilize the technology, like you know, the meal slice, I, I love this thing. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, being able to 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 offer uh, something that's proprietary, like Pi, which is uh, personal activity intelligence. So it's not PIE; it's PAI. <laughs> and it was actually uh, created by um, uh, the Norwegian Science Institute, based upon a study that they did. I think it was a 25 year study with over 60 plus thousand people where they were looking at a more, uh, let's say a more suitable way to monitor the effects of individual health based upon individual biometrics versus a general uh, rule of something like 10,000 steps, right? So what 10,000 steps does for you is not necessarily gonna have the same effect on me you know, my body's going right. to react differently. And so what they did was they started focusing the, the health benefits of an individual more or less on the heart rate and the elevation of the heart rate versus, you know, increasing and decreasing and the effects that it has on the metabolism and the calories being burned and uh, the longevity that uh, is created as a result because of, you know, the different, the heart is just, amazing so what it well, does to the bodies yeah well i can attest to that uh, actually uh, this is anecdotal but uh, i went through a training a training period 
uh, for our, our charity ride in British Columbia, the Ride to Survive. It's a 300-mile ride uh, it, over two mountain ranges done in 16 hours. So <laughs> it's... It's it. That's why it's called Ride to Survive. Right. <laughs> However, <laughs> in the training, the training for it, the ride was in July, but you start training in January, and by about March, I was riding in my training. I was probably putting in about um, between four hundred and six hundred miles a week in training on my bike to train for that Amazing. one day ride. And at the time, I thought I was in the shape of my entire life and uh, I had the opportunity to actually measure my my aging speed like my what my the, my physical body's age versus my calendar age and when I tested it said that I was six years older and I thought that's impossible how could I be six years older it's impossible I mean how many guys my age in their in their in my 50s could ride 300 miles in a day. Come on. I, so I called right. the company and I told them that. I said, there's something wrong with your system. And they said, no, there's something wrong with your training. <laughs> there's something wrong with your diet. There's something going on. You're killing yourself. And uh, you've got to take a look at your training. And boy, it was like a slap in the face. Here mm -hmm. I thought I was doing everything right. When for my body type, as you mentioned, 10,000 steps for me might not be the same as for you. Well, right. all training is the same. And so over the course of the next uh, two plus years, uh, probably closer to three, I actually reversed my age by six years. A 12, nice. year, a 12 year swing. Yeah. A 12 that's, year that's swing. Huge. And that was by changing. And, and I went from doing these long, intense rides. To, instead of riding four or six hours, I went down to riding an hour. <laughs> And I did, and I did intervals or a half an hour at lunchtime. I would just go out and do some intervals. And so you're right. Doing those short bursts of intense training is far better for you. Um, it definitely adds to your longevity um, more than, more than anything else. So that was why when I saw your, what you were doing with, with your version of Pi, um, I just, I got that right away. It's made sense yeah, to me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and you make very valid points. All of your points are extremely valid. You know, it, it's health and fitness is not something that's just cookie cutter to where, you know, you can say, okay, you know, if you're this height and this weight, then, you know, take two of these and call me in the morning. You know, um, I, I was so excited today. I, I love seeing uh, our, our clients come into the gym. And, for example, today a lady comes in, one of our clients, and she was so excited because she had picked up her lightsaber and, and uh, she now has her own personal lightsaber. And she, you know, she shows me her wearable and she's like, oh, I got 200, uh, 200 pie points today. I'm like, you get what? She goes, oh, yeah, I got my 200. I mean, and she's tracking her pie points and she's very, and she, and she should be proud, you know. Uh, but she's tracking her pipe points. She's being very conscious. Uh, she's utilizing the app. She's utilizing the, the nutrition recommendations, and she's really going for it. And you know, she brought in her her spouse. Uh, she brought in her you know her family. She's and they're really just very dedicated. You know, and she's got her whole routine comes in, and she needs that lightsaber, and she's got to have her light. It's like a fix, you know, and. It's great because I, I'm seeing that with a lot of our clients. They are really enjoying and looking forward to coming to the lightsaber fitness gym and, you know, getting the workout on it and getting their pie points, you know, and, and kind of tracking with each other. Well, how many pie points did you get this week? You know, well, how many pie points did you get this week? You know, and then once when someone has a, an awful lot of points, they're like, OK, what did you do? And they start comparing notes. He goes, hmm. You know, and, and then so you start having that community come back together and people are kind of saying, well, uh, you know, I went out and did this and this was the result. And they're like, well, I'll try that and see if I have the same result. Right. You know, instead of, you know, instead of saying, well, this is what you should do, they're comparing notes and they're they're exposing themselves to certain activities that they probably normally wouldn't have done had it not you know, been recommended or had they not seen the results of what it had done for someone that they personally know. So this wearable, it, yeah. this question, so this wearable uh, pie, so they, they're they wearing this all the time. You know, when, when someone comes to the, the lightsaber fitness center, the total saber fit the first time, 
Uh, you know, we have loner lightsabers and we have loner wearables and we want people to become familiar with uh, what it is that, that they're, they're using and, and how everything works together and connects. And after they become familiar with that and when they sign up, we give them an option. You know, we say, hey, we recommend that you, you get your own wearable and your own lightsaber so that you can not only monitor your, your current health condition 24 hours a day, but if you have your own lightsaber, we have the online app. And so you can actually do these lightsaber fitness routines at home, in the office, in the hotel room. You know, and as long as you don't, you know, you're not in the office cubicle or something, you break out that lightsaber, you know, your coworkers are like, whoa. <laughs> but it's it's still, a, a, you know, it's, it's available to you to do in various places, which is why we encourage you to have, you know, your own wearable device so that you can monitor. Uh, you know, what activities are you doing at work that are proven to be more beneficial to your health? You know, is is actually getting up and, uh, you know, walking over here or performing this type of task or, you know, what is the result that walking up the stairs versus taking the elevator? You know, you can start doing these different things and actually have a way to visually monitor the effects. Like you said, more than just steps. What are the other health benefits and what are the other effects on the body is it having? You know, we know that if you have 100 pie points for uh, an average of seven days, every seven days you maintain 100 pie points or more based on the study that's downloadable from our website directly from the Norwegian Science Institute who conducted the study, you're adding five years plus to your life. You know, so imagine that I mean, lightsabers are lifesavers you know that's a good plug right there i love that saying you know lightsavers are lightsavers because you can literally add five years to your life and reduce cardiovascular disease by 25 percent you know and actually be able to track and monitor and prove it you know with the actual technology that we incorporate into our fitness franchise I mean, I think you yeah i think you you're onto something here. i think you've created something that's a lot of fun it's a great new training method and yeah i can't wait to give it a try I'm looking forward to it, and I want a video of it, too. <laughs> well, I'm not so sure that part will be done on camera, but <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. All right. uh, maybe I'll be in the senior, seniors master's class one day competing <laughs> with you guys. But uh, so, so one question for you. Are you going to go with the red lightsaber or the blue? I got to go blue. Ah, okay. I won't hold it against you. Yeah, I got I to gotta, <laughs> go blue. I'm a, I'm a Tai Chi kind of guy. So I'm, I okay. get you. <laughs> Go with the blue. Hey, Ed, I want to thank you for taking the time uh, to uh, tell us all about your program and your gym and Saberation. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. All right. Edward Armstrong, the CEO and founder of Saberation. Follow the links below. And that's it for this edition of Total Health Magazine. I'm John Barson. Stay healthy.